This is Steve Ridgell, and I've been giving a few overviews, a quick peek at my newest book, Wounds into Scars, Helping Your Sin Wounds Become Spiritual Scars. It's for the people that love Jesus and struggle with their sin. It's for the people that want to help those who they know love Jesus but just can't get past their sin. And so as we've talked about it, one of the things I want to tell you is one of my chapters, chapter three in that book, is about do not stay silent. You've got to talk about your sin to someone. And I want you to know that it's in the section about confession. And basically what we talk about, we tell one story. It's a compilation of several people whose stories are very similar about people who, well, they were kind of caught and then they were kind of sorry and they wish they hadn't been caught and they talked about how bad they were, but they never really said the right words about their sin. Real confession, you'll hear statements like, well, like this, I, I did it. Now, that may be something you say, well, of course, if you're caught, you'll know, everybody will know you did it, so you might as well admit it, and there's some truth in that. I, I did it. But you also want to hear this, it was wrong. It was wrong. When people start trying to justify their sin, they're not really being accountable. You want to hear, I did it, and it was wrong. Yes, but, but almost everybody knows what's wrong, so it's that's right. It's not really the answer to have somebody say, yep, I did it, and it was wrong. You want to hear something like this, I'm sorry. You know, there's got to be some genuine hurt, some genuine, I wish I hadn't done that, some real. Now, not I'm sorry I got caught, not I'm sorry it's wrong, but I'm sorry I did that. I did it, and it was wrong, and I'm sorry. Now, you can get that far, and it's still not really confession, still not really, you're not going to get over your sin at that point. You also want to hear language that sounds a little bit like this, and I want to change. Ah, now you're getting somewhere. See, I for a long time, I'd work with people that I thought loved Jesus, and they'd say, I, I did it. It's wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry. But they really meant, I, I'm sorry I got caught. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry I did it. But what they really didn't want to do was be sorry enough to change, to say, I can't do this anymore. I want to do better. I want to do different. Help me learn not to be the same. And so, when you talk about what it means, and in my book, we spend some time talking about what these mean and, and how to deal with them, and then how the hard work really begins. But somewhere in confession, those of you that are struggling, you've got to tell your God, and I'm going to suggest you tell some people close to you that you can trust, that you learn to say these kind of things. I did it, and it was wrong, and I'm sorry, and I want to do the hard work, to change. And that's the beginning of real confession that will help your sin wounds turn into spiritual scars. This is Steve Ridgell reminding you, you can order the book from 21st Century Christian. Uh, to the end of October, you get 20 minutes off and free shipping. So order some. Uh, to Maybe you want to read it. Maybe you'll use it to help others. This is Steve Ridgell.